The PowerCab 212 Plus from Line 6 is an ideal stereo powered cabinet solution for any modeler or profiler. Think of it like two Line 6 PowerCab 112 Pluses put into the same unit. You have 250 watts a side for 500 watts and speaker modeling on both sides that can be either linked or can be separate so you could mix and match speaker types. There's an FRFR -FR mode that allows you to use whatever cabinet or microphone modeling you would like, and you can monitor that in stereo in with full range and flat response. The PowerCab 212 Plus really shines when it's connected to a Helix using the optional L6 link cable. This allows you to control the PowerCab 212 Plus remotely using the Helix on a per preset basis. So that means that you could set up different speaker types out of the virtual speakers in the cabinet to go with different rigs that you have on the Helix. So I know what you're thinking. I just bought a Helix. I've got amp and cabinet modeling in there. What do I need a speaker cabinet that has speaker modeling for? Well, let me break it down for you. When you take advantage of the Helix's cabinet modeling in there, you're getting Line 6's interpretation of the whole cabinet. So the speaker type, the construction of the cabinet, and there's also a microphone modeling component there. So you can select between a, a, a bunch of different microphones that Line 6 has, has modeled. Now, when you're recording, this is great because it gives you a fully baked guitar sound for your tracks and they sit well in the mix and uh, it can really help out with production value. However, when you're playing live, if you're trying to monitor the Helix through a PA type speaker, it can leave a little bit desired in the feel department. It doesn't quite maybe feel like an amp in a live performance situation. That's where the PowerCab 212 Plus comes in, or its younger brothers like the PowerCab 112 Plus and the 112. These cabinets forego the microphone modeling component except on the direct out. So these have a direct out that you could plug in to a PA and get your sound that way. So there's no need for the sound guy to mic it up. But for you as a player, you're not hearing that microphone modeled component coming out. You're just hearing the speaker modeling in a 212 cabinet. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate this for you now. It may be a little bit hard to pick up, but in the room, there's definitely a difference. So the way that I'm doing this is I have a Shure KSM44A positioned probably about seven feet away, elevated in the firing line of the speakers here. It's just a mono mic. So I'm gonna play the first patch, which is an AC30, and it's utilizing the cabinet modeling inside of Helix, okay? And the PowerCab 212 Plus is in FRFR mode. Then I'll switch over to another patch, which is exactly the same amp, an AC30, set exactly the same way. But what you're hearing, instead of the cabinet modeling from the Helix, is you're hearing the speaker modeling from the PowerCab 212 Plus. So let's check it out. <laughs> So that second example where I utilized the speaker modeling in the PowerCab 212 Plus definitely felt more like playing an amp in the room. And that was evident by the decay of the last chord. You could hear that it was resonating and that there was more of a symbiotic relationship between the guitar and the speaker cabinet, much like you get from a physical amplifier. Now I'm gonna do a brief demo of three different speaker types in the PowerCab 212 Plus utilizing a deluxe reverb model inside of the Helix. So again, I'm just modeling the amp here. All of the speaker emulation is taking place here. And you can hear how this allows you to shape your sound with just these different speaker types. Incidentally, I do have the Helix connected using the optional L6 link cable, and I'm controlling the power cab, the various speaker models using the Helix. Here we go. Deluxe reverb with the Jensen speaker. We've got a deluxe reverb with a cream back speaker. And finally, we have a deluxe reverb with the Bayou model, which is based on an Eminence Swamp Thing.
So up until this point, all of the examples in the video have utilized the same speaker model for both sides of the cabinet. So the cabinet has effectively been linked, sides one and two. However, for this example, I'm going to show you how it's possible to select two different speaker models. Um, so the amp that I have set up is a Plexi model. And on side one, which is this side here, we're using a greenback. And on side two, we're using a Vintage 30. So I've mic'd the cabinet up and I'm going to isolate each side for you. First, you're going to hear side one, then you'll hear side two and you'll hear them together. Now, I also have a stereo delay and a stereo reverb on here so you can hear how this cabinet handles stereo effects. You can also connect the PowerCab 212 Plus to your computer via USB and take advantage of the Line 6's editor application to pick certain speaker models or change the different microphone models for the direct out. Really convenient feature. So there you have it. That's the Line 6 PowerCab 212 Plus, and you can pick it up at AmericanMusical.com.